Academy. We begin tonight with a focus on our beach water quality. You could call it beach maintenance, but water testing is a crucial resource used, especially after big storms. While still too early for Burrow, the Coastal Bend Surfrider Foundation found interesting stats following Tropical Storm Alberto regarding our beach water quality. Josh Maxwell spoke with them and he joins us live with this report. Josh. According to a 2022 study by Environment America, Texas has some of the dirtiest beaches in the country when it comes to fecal matter. The Surfrider Foundation says that when they did water sampling after Alberto, they say that what they found, well, it was interesting. It's a tongue twister, but it's so much more. Uh, a type of bacteria, which is a fecal matter bacteria, and uh, we found medium uh, readings at two sites. Tommy Schultz with the Surfrider Foundation talking about recent finds through water sampling along our coast. The organization collecting samples from Padre Bayi Beach in both North and South J.P. Luby Surf Park locations. And here's what they're looking for. Let's us uh, know what's in the runoff. Um, there's fecal matter, uh, pesticides, a lot of things that can come downstream. A study from Environment America found 90% of Texas beaches had at least one day of unsafe fecal contamination, surpassing the national average of 55%. Tommy says that testing is done regularly to stay on top of the game. We have a couple of tools we use to test uh, for uh, salinity, pH, and turbidity being the clarity of the water. Jace Tona with the Heart Research Institute says that for those who do visit, beach safety should always be top of mind, but especially after a big weather event. Bacteria levels will go up for three to five days, so if there's been a lot of rain, we ask people not to get in the water. Kind of like what we saw with Tropical Storm Alberto last month. Tommy says when it comes to barrel, though impacts from the storm to our area were minor, they're still going to be taking samples. Do it every Thursday. Do it at all three sites and our results come out on Fridays. Tommy tells me that if you have any open cuts, it's important to wait at least 72 hours before getting into the water, especially if there's an above normal level of bacteria. Rudy, Leslie, back to you.